everyone! Thanks for clicking! I'm Neharika and in today's lesson we are going to look at some expressions to ask someone to wait. Now when do you do that? You know at times we are busy with something and we are unable to attend a person at that very moment. So you end up asking that person to wait. So do you end up saying wait or be patient? No, you don't do that. Now in English, we do have some phrases to ask someone to wait. So that's what we are going to learn today. So let's get started. The very first phrase that we have for you is hang on a moment or hold on. Now both of these expressions are informal expressions. sound pretty polite so it's okay to use in a formal situation as well so if someone calls you and you're busy so you'll ask him to wait by saying hang on a moment or hold on all right you can do that over the phone and as well as in person so if you are able to get back in couple of seconds or in few minutes or in a short period then use the phrase that hang on a moment or hold on. All right, let's have a look at second phrase here. I'll be right with you. Now this expression is just perfect if you belong to a customer service industry. For example, a customer is here to wait, uh, is here to meet you and you want him to wait. Maybe you're doing something and you'll be only able to attend this person in few minutes. So you're not going to again say be patient or wait. No, you're going to say I'll be right with you. So this is a very polite expression and it's just perfect if you are into customer service. All right, so you just want to get done with the work that you're doing and attend this customer on immediate basis. So use the phrase, I'll be right with you. And also make sure to use the right tone. You cannot say, I'll be right with you. No, that's wrong. You're going to say, I'll be right with you. You're going to be nice and polite. Another one is bear with me. Now again, this expression can be used over the telephone and as well as in person. Now bear with me is probably uh, a perfect expression to be used when you are really busy and it's taking long for you to get back. Okay, so it's not for short period that you're asking that person to wait. Hang on a moment or hold on is perfect if you are going to get back to that person in just a short period. But when you say bear with me, it means that you are going to take a little longer. So you're going to take a longer time. So you would say bear with me. So the actual meaning or the literal meaning of this phrase is like be patient. Like I said, you cannot end up telling someone or asking someone to be patient. A better phrase to use is bear with me. Okay, so it actually means to be patient. All right, let's have a look at another one. Let me see. Okay, now when do you use this phrase? Let me see. Someone comes up to you and asks you a question. Now when you end up saying, ah, oh, let me see, it means that you're buying time to think. So you're not directly asking that person to wait. Okay, but you're actually buying time to think. So for example, um, a person comes to you and uh, asks you that, hey, do you have any messages for me? And probably
technically, yes, you have some messages for this person, but you just can't remember. So you'll say, uh, let me see. And then you go tell him that, yes, there are a couple of messages for you. So let me see is or can be used when you are buying time to think. All right. And make sure that when you use this expression, within couple of seconds or within couple of minutes you end up saying what you have to okay you can't just take forever it has to be done quick another expression that i have for you is all in good time now when do you use this expression now when you want enough time to do something okay or finish your work or to finish up with something Like for example, your daughter comes in and says, Hey mom, I'm starving. Is the dinner ready yet? Mom says, all in good time. So all in good time, it means that you know you need enough time to cook something really nice for your daughter. Okay, so that's how you would use this expression. Or another example. Your boss uh, gives you a project to work on and he says, uh, well, when are you going to finish this? So you would end up saying all in good time. So this means that you need enough time to do a good job on this project. So you're buying enough time from that person to do something better. Right. So go ahead and use this expression as and when required. All right. So these are a couple of expressions that would help you to ask someone to wait. Now, when the person is done waiting, what do you say? Well, here are some expressions. The first one, I apologize for the delay. So maybe you were in a meeting and someone else was waiting outside for you. Yes, maybe your secretary said he'll be right with you, but it took a little longer for you to attend that person. So you are going to apologize. And how do you do that? You're going to say, I apologize for the delay, right? Another one. Thank you so much for waiting. Now here, you appreciate that person's time. That person waited for you till the time you finished your work. So you're going to thank him to do so. The expression that you will end up using is thank you so much for waiting. And then the last expression that I have for you is again apologizing. So how do you do that? Sorry to keep you waiting. Again, this expression can be used when that person has been waiting for you for a real long time. So, either you can say thank you so much for waiting, it means that you appreciate his time, and then you can say by apologizing, sorry to keep you waiting. All right, so please do that. This really shows your manners. So it's not just that you're asking that person to wait, but when that person really waits, appreciate that time. All right. So these are the expressions that you can end up using in your daily situations. So let's just quickly revise them. When you want someone to wait, you're going to say, hang on a moment or hold on. Or you can say, I'll be right with you. Or you can say, bear with me. Another one. Hmm, let me see. And then the last one is all in good time okay so these are the expressions when you want someone to wait and then the other three expressions are thanking and apologizing because that person really waited for you so i apologize for the delay thank you so much for waiting and then the last one that i have for you is sorry to keep you waiting all right so hope these expressions are really helpful to you and I'll be back with a new lesson. Till then, you take care.